Alrighty, so we're gonna get started. Um, as I'm waiting for just a few more people to pop in, I've got a few messages that some people are just now getting on. Um, I figured that I would just go ahead and do my warm-ups because I actually have not warmed up today as far as drawing and stuff, which is a good thing to do. Um, I've actually participated, uh, I don't know if any of you guys play video games or whatnot, but, um, I've been participating in a online crew battle for a game super called Super Smash Brothers, and I was gonna be play really early, and then I kept on getting moved further and further back in the lineup, which is part of the reason why, uh, the, ch the, uh, the stream is a little bit late, and I was like, ah! I need to go, I need to go, so and, and it went alright, so that was fun. Um, but because of that, I really have not drawn a whole lot today, so as I'm waiting for people to come in, I'm probably just going to be doodling a little bit uh, to get my hand warmed up. It's tremendously cold here uh, where I live, and so that really, really stinks, but that's okay. I do have a heated blanket and a sweater, multiple sweaters. And that head is not right at all. So I'm probably just going to be doodling just a little bit as we get ready. Hmm, not sure if I'm going to doodle. Actually, I'm probably going to be doodling. Um, let's see, I, I find myself uh, drawing this character a ton. And I've actually done a few animations of him as well. But I haven't posted anywhere. Um, it's for a story that will probably be a comic, I'm thinking. But his name, and I, and I, I don't know, I usually just doodle him for warm-ups, along with Chris. I'll probably do, doodle a quick Chris before we actually get started. And if anyone else has any um, drawing requests that they want to have, then that's totally good too. I wanted to say, give a huge thank you to, I believe it was Borakua Binks, um, to, for, let me double check the name, because I want to make sure that I get it exactly right. Uh, yeah, Bora, Bo or Borakua Binks 217. So thank you so much for following. Uh, I really, really appreciate it. And if you're ever in the, in the chat, then just go ahead and just send me a message and I will doodle something for you if you would like. Uh, so yeah, because I really, really appreciate that. Oh, that's not the right button. So, let's see. But no, this guy's name is Song. Uh, well, not his real name. I mean, not his real name. But the name he goes by is Song, so like that. Um, and he's part of a story of this underground fight club, which uh, I guess sounds maybe a little bit cliche, but... I swear it's different. So the thing is with the Fight Club is that each of the characters that participate in it, they don't go by their real names. They go by nicknames, and the nicknames correlate to like their fighting styles. And so he has a very rhythmic, very uh, fluid and musical fighting style, and so people just call him Song. Uh, but he is super fun to draw. He has two little moles right there in there. Uh, no, those are not piercings, those are moles. <laughs> Beauty marks, I guess you could say. And yeah, no, he's just super fun to draw. And his other character that's in it is a character named um, River, which I might draw real quickly next. Oh, hey yo! Hi, Pumpkin Fox King! How are you doing? So, yeah, before I draw song real fast... Because uh, for, for people that are just coming in, I have not warmed up as far as drawing today. So I'm just doing a little bit of warming up so I can be like, yeah, you know, I, I know how to draw. I, I swear, like, th this is a thing that exists and I do. I mean, kind of a lot, I guess. So, but yeah, he has a beautiful, wonderful red hat that looks like that red which is kind of funny because he actually likes to kind of blend into the background more and yet then he has this bright red hat and so people are just like we can always find you because you have that bright red hat or whatever so yeah that's a semi-decent song -ish. Uh, the head's really off but you know what this is this called warming up so i am good with that and then a lot of times i'll just kind of do like little little figures and stuff like that 
or I'll look up um, reference images, draw those, but just that person needs clothes. There we go. So just stuff like that and just to kind of stay in practice and just be thinking about silhouettes and all that sorts of stuff when I'm doing animation work. So let's do actually a really quick Chris and then we'll get started. If I'm good, took me a bit for Wi-Fi to get its stuff together. Yeah, no, I was actually having trouble with uh, some Wi-Fi stuff earlier today too. Um, <laughs> my internet just like died, died. It was just gone. And so I'm actually glad that it seems to be kind of behaving for the stream, but we shall see. So if I, if we drop out, then uh, if we'll just do our best. We'll restart the stream and it'll all be good. So uh, let's see, Chris, 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 Chris. I do really like the style though for, um, amongst other things. Well, I hope I do see it as I draw it all the time. But uh, for those of you that haven't seen a whole lot of my art, um, I typically do like a different, uh, just a, not a hugely different style, but eh, sometimes uh, for every project that I work on. And that's just because I get really bored if I do the same style all the time. Um, I recently w uh, uploaded, fingers crossed, yeah, totally. Yeah, <laughs> we are definitely going to be hoping on that. So... I know, um, I recently uploaded a webcomic and started it, which is really, really nice. Um, it's something I've been working on probably since August, I believe. So that's been really, really fun. And it's called Pen and Book, and it's up on Webtoons, and shameless plug, it's the link to it is on my Twitter. Uh, if you don't know my Twitter- Hi, Skinny Me! I'm pretty good, how are you? Uh, if but yeah, <laughs> no, I was just talking about um, uploaded a webcomic pin and book, uh, which is up on my Twitter, the, where the link is up on my Twitter. And so that's been up. And um, one of my friends looked at it and was just like, yeah, you know, the style is really different from like, you know, amongst other things. And, and you're just like, you know, not bad or anything, just different and stuff like that. I'm just like, yeah, yeah, I, I typically do that, honestly. So... I don't know, I just do a different style. So like, this is typically the style for amongst other things that I do right here. But then like when I'm just doodling, which is kind of pen and book style, I'll draw a really quick pen because pen is awesome. He has two little earrings like that and he's a pretty happy dude most of the time. Ah, uh, th there'll be character development stuff that he'll see. That no, he's not always the happiest guy. Um. There's a quick pen. That's pretty much the style that I use for pen and book. And then song is just kind of like when I'm, I don't know. I feel like trying more realistic, I guess. So. Oh, awesome. You're doing well. That's great. Yay. <laughs> so I believe now, now that I've warmed up a little bit, oh, that face is still terrible though. <laughs> That is okay. That was the first thing I drew. I probably should have doodled something like that or I don't know to begin with. Pen! There's pen. Yay. Pen makes me happy. So I think now we are going to get started with the actual animation part of it. You know, that, that, that exists and stuff. So I already have the scene all pulled up and I, hmm. I did kind of want to just go ahead and do the gate, or at least start the gate. So I might be a little bit of a butterfly today and be like, oh, I'm going to work on this, I'm going to work on this type thing, just kind of be floating around, but I don't know. We're going to see how this goes. But if there's anything in particular that you guys want to see, like, just totally let me know and I, that should be fine or so. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's see, it's because I want the gate to open. And I've done a lot of thought on how I want to do this gate. I, I think a lot about this, clearly. <laughs> uh, I lay awake at night just thinking, how am I going to move that gate? But I think I've got it figured out. Oh, and uh, I still need to correct some of the frames on here. Uh, time got a little bit away from me. I worked on some other clips this past week and I, because I was saving this clip for stream. So I still need to correct these orange frames. So if, if a frame is orange, that means I need to correct it because <laughs> the uh, proportions are off. But this is pretty much what I've gotten 
for this clip as far as uh, Chris's animation. So it's basically just the keyframes. Um, like I said, I'm going to start with the gate first and then I'll go on to this and mainly what I need there is just uh, some in-betweens, some eases, move the hair a little bit. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. Strategy to defeat gate. Exactly. Yeah, I got to prepare for this. So, all right, so what I'm thinking of doing is I'm going to, to sketch it out. I'm going to first erase Chris. Bye, Chris. <laughs> Rest in pieces. Uh, so I'm gonna do that, and then I'm going to just do kind of a sketch of this gate. I'm just gonna do one side of it. So this is kind of what I want the gate to look like, and it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect because it's just going to be the sketch. And so, hey, let's see, let me go out that many bars or whatever. That should be good. And then, so there we go. So that's kind of what I want the gate to look like. And then it's going to be the same thing on the other side. But I have a little trick that I'm going to do to duplicate that so that it's even on both sides. So then I'm going to take this. And this program has a handy little feature that you can adjust the, uh, the, the what's it called, uh, perspective. That's the word. And so you can do, ah, that's not the right one that I, that I was looking for. <laughs> so let me reset that. Mm, not quite. I know that I found a way. Ah, there we go. There we go. Okay, kind of like that. I mean, that looks really weird. So obviously I'm, I'm not going to do the animation like that. However, I am going to use it as a guide for doing that. It's kind of a weird 3D effect. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to get... Hmm. Like I said, I'm kind of just go playing this by ear. I have not... I cannot say that I have animated a door or, uh, or a giant gate opening before. But we're just kind of going to play this by ear. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do is get maybe the keyframes so the keyframes are basically just going to be that's not what i wanted there we go that's what i wanted keyframes are basically just going to be the main parts of the animation so for like a door it's going to be closed um and or closed and open and then the in between is going to be while well, it's opening and kind of maybe like halfway open or depending on the speed of the animation it can be so like if it's uh animating kind of slowly which is kind of what i want it's going to kind of creak open and then probably speed up a little bit when it's fully opened is that the in between is actually going to be more like there instead of like immediately uh like halfway which would be kind of like there and it's probably not going to open all the way like that. I probably just want that to be um, as open as it gets. And actually thinking about that, I probably need to make it a tad bit smaller, I'm thinking. So that I can see the bottom of it. Because I don't like how it gets cut off in the frame. So what I'm going to do... Wait... <laughs> Oh yeah, oh yeah, her Peach Boys. Yeah, no, he's great. I remember, uh, yeah, I remember watching that stream. It was amazing. So let's see. Okay, so I'm gonna take these and I'm going to so select both of those, transform, and then based on the position of this one, I'm going to make it. Oh, whoops, it cut off. Okay, all right. I know what I'm gonna do then. So we're gonna redo this. We got this. Alrighty. So taking this one, we're actually just going to make it smaller here. So I might need to make Chris a bit smaller too. I don't like the gate that small though. Maybe what I could do actually is move it up instead. Like that. And once again, I'll, I'll move Chris. Chris is movable. He'll, he'll deal with it. He'll be fine. So do that. And now... I can have my other, my next keyframe. So we're gonna do perspective, and then that's a lot better. So that's kind of, let's see, the ending position. Actually, yeah, I could go with an ending position like that. That's pretty good. So it's probably gonna be more like that. 
So it's open, close, close, open, close, open. Seems fine. I don't know, to me it looks like it should be a, a little bit higher to me. Mm, let me redo it. Reset. I mean, not that I don't trust, you know, the program and all that, but I don't know, to my eye that looks a little bit wonky. So let's see. There it is. Oh, that's why. Okay, so I'm going to move it to the hinges. I was like, I know that there's something weird about that. There we go, that's a lot better. I'm gonna actually adjust it just a tad bit, perhaps. That's not what I wanted. There we go. <laughs> like that, and maybe I, oh, just a little bit more stretch. I mean, I do trust the program, but at least to my eye, some of the things just looked a little bit weird. I mean, I'm always open to like uh, what you guys think and if like, just go for the program, then I'm fine with that too, but I don't know, to me it looked a little bit weird. In fact, I'm gonna do another version of it. So there's one, and then here's another one. Oh yeah, okay, there we go. And maybe that one is better. Doop, doop, doop. Probably part of this is that I probably should have done a little bit of a better sketch as far as the gate goes. So like that. I'm pretty happy with that. Alright. So here's kind of what I want it to look like. And actually now I'm going to go back and I'm going to do a much better version of it so I can really see how it's going to look in the final project. So there's the gate, gonna turn it blue, and then I'm gonna take a line, just a straight line like that, I'm gonna cut it like that so I can uh, just drop it. This is a really, really handy tool in this program where I can just cut uh, a part, any part of the image and then I can just take it and then I can just pop it down right like that. So I, it really helped me for doing fences because I did a lot of fences in the previous scene. So, and then to make the spacing even, a lot of times I'll do two or so of these and then I will actually cut it again so I can get the spacing the same as again, just like that. So, and then that's going to be the end of the gate. Doop -a -doop -a -doop. Like I said, I'm just kind of playing this by ear in a way and just seeing how it goes. Cause like I said, I've never really done a gate before, but I'm just like, why not? So, okay, I'm just gonna edit this and then flip it. Apply, okay, now I got it like that. Cause I don't know about you, but like, I don't wanna draw straight lines all day. Straight lines are hard. So I'm just going to do them like that. And then the curve, I, let's see, doop, a little bit like that, and let me see, to make it really good. There we go. Just like that. So there is my polished-ish gate. There we go, erase the extra lines like that. How long have you been animating? I'm not sure, um... I have been animating pretty seriously for three and a half years, I think. And uh, I've, I've been animating just like off and on for probably about eight years, so. Because I am currently 21 and I think the first animation I did was maybe when I was 10 or something. 10 or 11, but it was like a really bad animation. It was like an MS Paint and it was like an eye blink. And it was like a super anime eye and it was like look like that and like it was it was it was okay i guess but yeah it was just like three frames like that pretty much <laughs> so yeah no it was an ms pain and stuff but yeah i would say seriously three years so and i was actually like you know i want to get like really good at this type thing not just ah, i'm just kind of doing it when i feel like it and stuff but i mean i still kind of do that i guess a little bit but i'm definitely i guess a bit more, I wouldn't say serious because I'm not really serious about a whole lot of things, but 
I, I would say as far as like really, really having schedule and deadlines for myself. Yeah, that would, that's a bit more recent. So there we go. So I, I don't know how, like how long have you done voice hacking? Cause like, I, I don't know if, if I've told you this before, but I'm seriously impressed. I'm seriously impressed by like all the VA. So like, I don't know, people in the chat, like how long have, uh, I think, let's see. I know we got Skinny, and I know we got Pumpkin Fox King. Like, how long have you guys been doing, like, voice acting and stuff like that? Because, yeah. No, I've, I've been seriously impressed by, like, all of them. And honestly, like, one of the first things people say when I show, when they, uh, I link them my project or something like that, they're just like, oh, wow, the, like, the VAs are so good and stuff like that. And I'm just like, I know, right? So, it's also seen at Fargo's Ghost. And it's, yeah, exactly, yeah. Now, as long as, like, I can just get better like i'm not necessarily i don't mind if i'm not perfect or anything all the time but as long as i can see improvement like that's one of the best things ever so alrighty, so we got the keyframes and now i'm going to do with the in between so it's that's the goal point and then like i said i want the gate to be delayed just slightly and then, so, we'll go to there a bit early. Stay on the hinges. Like that. Mm. I should stop adjusting that. It just, ah, it doesn't really look right to me. I don't know. Hmm. Perspective can be really hard, though. And, hey, I'm learning. Just like, just like I said, if I could just improve of this and make a lot of mistakes along the way but you get better in the end that's totally fine so all right there we go so that's kind of what i'm looking at and so that's gonna be the in between i'm trying actually in my animation to do a bit more of the i guess kind of more a bit more structure with my animation um, because typically I just kind of am like, well, this looks good and this looks good and stuff like that. Instead of directly doing like, oh, here's uh, this in between, which goes into this, here's the timing for this, etc, etc. So that's going to be an in between. This is going to be another in between. Now it's going to swing just a little bit faster. And then I'll time this as well. A little bit later for me i've been uh acting for about 20 years as for specifically voice i have been for three going on for years nice that's awesome yeah no acting is really cool so like stage acting and stuff like that that's really awesome true well actually this is my first major vi yay vi project i haven't really even recorded myself that much before this just uh besides the occasional goofy vlog yes I did do acting in middle school and high school pretty heavily. Yeah, no, I've noticed that um that quite a lot of people have done like stage acting and stuff like that before doing or during or after or whatever, but in conjunction with um voice acting and stuff like that. I auditioned for a few school plays. <laughs> um that's about it. I don't think I got really got into any though, and I don't know, some of my friends were just like, You should do plays. I'm just like, no, I don't know, as far as just, like, body acting, I'm not that great. Like, I don't, I don't think so. But I, I do enjoy voice acting a lot. So, I just enjoy sound things, I guess. There we go. doop a doop a doop oh, I think that looks halfway decent for a gate. You know, my, my first gate animation, it, it looks decent. Uh, yeah, stage and film, especially in my community. Ooh, film too? That's awesome. But yeah, no, definitely. I have a lot of really good friends that did theater all throughout high school and then continued on um, to like community theaters and stuff like that. And it's really cool. I I don't know. Most of my experience with um like stage and theater and stuff like that, it hasn't been on the stage. Like, uh, I wasn't a techie or anything like that, but I was... Um, I was in the pit for a lot of years, so like the pit orchestra and stuff like that playing. So that's most of my experience with it. And yeah, I don't know. It, it was it was really fun. I enjoyed being in the pit. It was super fun. We, we did weird stuff. 
Okay, I'm gonna hold in on that end too. Okay, I think it definitely needs a little ease. And let's, let's see, what, what I mean by ease is like, it kind of, it, it doesn't just like uh, halt there. It kind of like, it gets to the end point, but then it shifts just a little bit. It just, it, it makes it look, I think, a little bit more natural. So it's just a very tiny shift like that. So let's see. Yeah, so it's not just like a, uh, it, it makes it look a little bit less choppy, I think. And I think I could go a lot slower. So let me put this actually to eight, maybe? Eight, six. And then four, 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 I'm thinking. What I'm well, listing down is the, the number of frames in between them, so... fairly natural I think for a gate opening hmm actually I think I might move this one back just to six so it's six six four 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 I believe yeah no I like that cool uh what did you play in pit oh I played the flute yeah yeah, now I play the flute all the time for pretty much everything I do. I do play a little bit piano, but, like, definitely not good enough to <laughs> play in any sort of ensemble. Like, just purely for fun or for composition or for composing and stuff like that. So, oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, it is really cool. So, there we go. All right, let me just see one more time. Yeah, no, I do like that. It turned out pretty good, actually. <laughs> Alrighty. So, what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to take this, but then... Hmm. I might keep it roughly the same. Okay, so what I was thinking is that I'm going to have this guide, but then I did want to draw the frames... Well, correct them more from the standpoint of, um... Perspective. So, like... Hmm, maybe. Or maybe it is pretty good like this, because the bars are going to be round. So... Or is it... I don't know. I actually kind of like it like that, because what I'm thinking is the bars are round, so they're not really going to have um, necessarily different edges to them. So, like, if they were square, then I would have to worry about it going from there to, like, there... Uh, that's a terrible example, <laughs> but like uh, basically them turning around, but because they're round like that, not so much. Hmm. Well, what I'm definitely going to do is always fancy it up because actually this is what the gate kind of looks like. So it has a banner at the top. That's probably about where it cuts in the middle. So, I will adjust it from that standpoint, but yeah, otherwise, I'm pretty happy with it, actually. Hmm. So, yeah, cool. Okay. <laughs> That's neat. Yay! <laughs> yes. Uh, flute, I'm guessing. Yeah. But yeah, it, w it was super fun. We had an awesome director, too, because, um, well, like, we, we would just do really dumb stuff, like, during dress rehearsals. I mean... I'm pretty sure the director kind of hated us some days, so I apologize for that. But, I don't know, we did some really pretty fun stuff, like blowing bubbles from the pit, and so they were just, like, rising up from the pit when there was kind of a cheesy uh, number going on. So that was really fun. Um, what else did we do? He also brought... Well, so that we could see his um, baton easier he I'm gonna erase that he brought um what is it? it it was like this glow in the dark spray or something so if you put like a black light on it you could see it in the dark which really helped because yeah it it, it was it was dark so <laughs> it was so that we could actually see in the time and stuff but 
so he did that and I, I remember one night he actually sprayed it like on his like beard and <laughs> it was really weird and then and so his beard was glowing as along with his baton and it was just like that's so weird but it's really funny that he did do during a performance the bubble scene was during a dress rehearsal and we got a little bit chewed out by the director even though we were laughing so that was fun so we did, as far as the musicals, we did Annie and we did uh, My Fair Lady. Even though Annie didn't have that great, um, uh, like, woodwind parts, like the, like, flute parts or whatever, I actually did like it a bit more than, say, uh, My Fair Lady. I don't know. My Fair Lady, I liked the music in it, but, mm, eh, I don't know. Uh, Annie was just a lot more fun. <laughs> So, that's not the tool I want. There it is. Well, hmm. I think I actually, because I was going to do uh, most of the backgrounds that I do, I actually use this kind of pencil -y brush, which I really, really like. Um, I had a lot of inspiration for the backgrounds as far as, like, the Winnie the Pooh backgrounds in the storybook with, like, the trees and stuff like that. But I, I don't think it's pencil, but it's, like, pen, but it's very kind of more scratchy, if I remember correctly. Um just from the times when I've read Winnie the Pooh and stuff. But I think, actually, I'm going to do this in the same pen that I do for, um, like, the character animation. Because, it, technically, it is a character, so. Just do that. So there's the top of the gate. I'm actually going to cut this, and then... That's so wobbly. Let me see if I can do that line a lot better. That's a bad line. That's a really bad line. There we go. So I think there's maybe another tool in here. Mm, possibly. Ooh, actually I know what to do. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm going to do a straight line right there. I'm gonna select it. And once again, that's not the one I wanted. Hmm. Most programs do... Ah, there we go. Is that it? <sighs> you know, I've never really had to draw a curved line before in some... I mean, I'm still definitely learning this program as I go on. So, let's see. Hmm. Uh, Simon Techie for Les Mis, Rob, in high school and in the course for singing very nice. Yeah. Cool. Alrighty. Derp -a -derp -a -derp. I swear there's gotta be some feature. <laughs> I swear I know this program. Uh, da -da 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 -da. This is your three points. Fine, let's see. So like that. That's not really what I was looking for. There, that's what I'm looking for. Thank you, program. <laughs> that's what I was looking for. I was like, I knew that there was some sort of feature somewhere. There we go. So, there we go. And then, hmm. It is not agreeing with me, apparently. <sighs> I might just need to draw it. That'll do it really, really well. Yeah, that's not going to work. That is not going to work at all. Okay. We're just doing this by hand, then. If it's going to be super, super, super difficult like that, then I shall just do it by hand. And I'll figure it out in my own time as well. So, it'll be good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like I said, I know a lot of the things in this program, but I feel like in some ways I haven't even scratched the surface because there's so many different features on... I know, I'm typically the kind of person that, like, likes to do, um, well, I guess just as simple as possible, if that makes any sense, because I'm really hugely inspired by a lot of old animation, because I am really like how they did so much with just, you know, like, pencil and paper and cameras and stuff like that, and I think that's really, really, really super awesome. So, I guess I'm kind of like, I don't know, I, I like using features, for example, I love this cut feature. But I, as much as I can, I try to do it, I guess, by hand, necessarily. But I don't know. I just think it's really, really awesome that they've been able to do that. So it's kind of like, you know what? If they were able to do that, then I, 
I can definitely do it too, so. There we go. Actually, that should be probably a little bit further down. Freehand, move that. There we go. Okay. And it probably won't have the sign on the back. So like uh, the filigree estates, you don't belong. So it will show though when the gate turns around. So, and now I got my straight line. There we go. That's a lot thicker. Let me see if I can make it a tiny bit smaller. It's like 75. So it just, so it fits with, um, the other line, I think a tiny bit smaller. Let's try 65. Doop, like that. Alrighty. Okay, so we got those like there. Yeah, that pretty that fits with the thickness. There we go. There we go. Star. All right there. Bars, bars. Okay, and last one, and then I'll clean it up up there, just a tad bit. But first, I gotta connect these here, and then what I'll probably do is that I'll pretty much do the same thing that I did with the sketch, where I just kind of adjusted the perspective. But then, if there's other details that need to be added, like the sign that's on the front of it, which will only appear when it's on the when uh, the gate is facing the front. I'll just go ahead and add that. So, alright, there we go. There's the bottom. Okay, awesome. I mean, I might be eating my own words in like five minutes, but like this is going fairly well. So, let's hope it continues to go well. Uh, just a little bit. There we go. Cut that. See how that looks. And cut that. There we go. Yeah, no, uh, da, da, da. as I was, uh, when I first started the stream, I don't know how many people were here or whatever, but, um, I was talking a little bit about Pen and Book, uh, which is the comic that I started recently, and... Yes, I'm just going to continue to shamelessly plug it, <laughs> but, but no, seriously. Um, I was uh, talking a little bit with my mom, and she's just like, you just have, like, a lot of, uh, I think she said, like, bricks or something, or in the oven or whatever, um, was the, is the term that she likes to use a lot. And I'm just like, yeah, I've kind of always been, yeah, fingers crossed, definitely. <laughs> Yeah, but um, I've always kind of been like that. Uh, actually, when I was a kid, I used to make a lot of um, like home movie stuff that would be usually based on like my siblings or my pets or stuff like that. And I would do all I had was a camera that had a VHS, like one of those mini VHS tapes on it. And so I would do all my editing like uh, on that tape. So what I would do was that if I wanted a cut, then I would just like film over the uh, like over the pre-established footage so I wouldn't get the footage of me like moving the camera or running around or whatever. And I did a lot of that. Um, I wrote a lot of like mock scripts and stuff like that, most of which I never finished or never actually did anything about them. So I don't know, I've, I've always just kind of, I, I like to have a bunch of projects because um, I thought that maybe with me starting the comic, like, some people might be like, oh, does that mean, you know, you're not really working on amongst other things? I'm just like, yeah, yeah, I am. I just, I need lots of things to keep me busy and stuff like that, because then if I do get a little bit frustrated or a little bit burnt out, um, like, I have been getting a little bit with animation, then I just go draw and pen and book or well, one of my other projects and stuff like that, and it's really, really nice, because then I don't really get burned out. I mean, and if I do, I have something that can help me get through that, so. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it was fun. Um, so, but yeah, I mean, it's something that I can do. Uh, for example, like, there are some days where I, I animate about 10 hours um, in a day or even more. And I was definitely feeling that this week. And I was like, I need a break. So... 
Definitely. Alrighty. Now we get to do the fun cheating perspective part. <laughs> so... It's interesting how it looks, um, uh, hmm. How it looks just a tad bit different. Then do it like that, let's see. That's not what I wanted, okay. Let's see how it looks better. All right, I know what to do. Okay, so first of all, edit undo is my friend. There we go. It's probably gonna be more like that. And then I'm gonna move that just a tad there because the main part is going to be to match with the hinge. So if it's not matching with the hinge, then something is wrong. Something is very, very wrong. Because it's not gonna be moving off the hinges at all. Um, a lot of times when I'm animating, it's very, very helpful to think of stuff like that. Because it, it kind of gives you a grounding point for like, okay, well, it's definitely not going to move, say, here or here or whatever. So, there we go. That's what I wanted. Okay. So, there we go. That's the first one. I know, right? Hey, cheating. Yeah, no, actually, my flute professor a lot of times will say something like, uh, cheat when you can. Which is valid advice, I mean, <laughs> like, uh, obviously not for, like, school or anything like that. I'm not, I'm not condoning, like, cheating in school. Like, do your own work and all that, all that good stuff. Stay in school and don't do drugs and all that good stuff. But, yeah, when you can and if it makes it easier, then, so I don't know, I guess so, yeah. <laughs> so, there we go. What I'll probably do is I'll add a bit more perspective-y stuff. As far as, like, um, the side of the gate, that's going to be right here. So, that's an eraser. That's still an eraser. There we go. Okay. <laughs> well, by adding a kind of a line, like, right there. So, to signify that it's actually a 3D object. So. Okay. Perspective, perspective is not very fun some of the time. I don't know, to me it just always looks slightly wrong. <laughs> there we go. Technically, yes, it's great advice. Yeah, for certain things, definitely. <laughs> yeah, because a lot of times there's um, flute pieces or whatever that um, are just... Either, like, the composer didn't really think that, um, you know, the flute can't really play that um or just other stuff and yeah that's definitely when we cheat we use alternate fingerings or just don't play some notes or whatever because it's just like no you don't really know how to you know flute so i think the most common offender is like people who forget that flutes need to breathe and it's like yeah we do we, we actually do need to breathe we need a lot of air so, that's always interesting. I might go back and redo that second frame because I think it's a little bit messed up. So, let's see. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, there we go. Oh, hey, Lynn! Hi there, how are you? Oh, man, you're working two jobs? Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, you got another job. Well, good luck with that and take care of yourself, okay? That can be really rough. So, yeah, work smarter, not harder. Yep, definitely. So, yeah. But, but yeah, make sure to take care of yourself, because, yeah, that can be rough, so. Doop -a -doop -a -doop. Well, we are just having um, fun with the gate, currently, uh, and perspective and cheating and stuff, and yeah. <laughs> so, and somehow the gate is has gotten off screen again. I'll fix that. That'll be okay. So, there's the next one, it's about there, there we go, and then the last one. And then we'll correct it and fix it up and I'll draw the type on it as well. There we go. Cool. Okay, now I'm gonna fill in this because it was a jerk and decided to cut it off. Except of course that's going to be at a different resolution. That's the only problem with, um transforming thing things is that it does look like it's at a different resolution which bothers me a bit 
but there are ways to get around it. So there we go. Okay. Hmm. Then what I might do, man, it shouldn't have cut off screen. So I'm kind of wondering how it did that. Let me go ahead and check this. Hmm. Cause I didn't think that the sketch was off the screen. It was barely off the screen, but not even there. Alrighty. Okay. Well then I will just redo because sometimes you just gotta do that so okay and it shouldn't take too long but I think that that's gonna look a lot better than um trying to fill in the frame and then risk it being a different resolution so oh yeah no problem so of, of course. Yeah, no problem. You're the best, dude. Thanks for dropping in. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Yeah, and it was really nice talking with you, too. So. You just need money for a better microphone to take. Oh, yeah, no problem. Well, I, I think I told you before, like, I, I think that your microphone's great. So, I mean, I, I don't think it ever hurts to, like, upgrade and stuff like that. But, I don't know. I think it sounds great. So. And I'm usually pretty picky about sound things, so. <laughs> All right, sir. See you. There we go. Yeah, and uh, Lynn, we started a little bit late just due to uh, some internet things, and I got uh, not home late because I was home, but I got caught up in something that was supposed to be done a little bit sooner, but then wasn't. So that's a thing, I guess. Um. So I'll probably just go though for a little bit longer because I actually have not eat, eaten lunch today. So that's a thing, but I'll, I'll go for uh, definitely a bit longer and then we shall call it a day and that's still cutting it off. New, no cutting off the screen. So like that, because otherwise it's not going to be there in the next frames. Using a dynamic frame, you can just... Oh, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. So we go. There's the other side of it. And... Okay, and then here's the almost last frame. Where is it, the last frame? No, not quite. Okay, there we go. And then the last easing frame to make it look like it's not just like open, close, like really choppy and stuff like that. So there it is right there. Okay, let's see how this looks. Doop. Now, oh, let me actually hold those on both sides so we can actually see the gate. There it is. And there it is. There. Okay. It seems to go down just a tad bit. Once again, perspective always looks so weird to me. It just never quite looks right. Okay, well, I think what I need to do now is just um, add more of the 3D aspect of it. I'll correct that just a tad bit. And I'll do that just a tad bit. I kind of have a bad habit of doing a lot of things just by eye, which I don't think you should do, but I do it a lot <laughs> just based on what it looks like. But what I do know is that it needs to follow this arc down here. So it's like a semicircle like that. Okay. So I'm a bit happier with that. Cool. Okay. I have listened to this line of dialogue, I think, um, a thousand times now. <laughs> it's a lovely line of dialogue. But, you know, I am getting a little bit tired of it. So, I, mean, I technically don't really need the dialogue right now. 
That's not what I wanted. Doop -a -doop -a -doop. There we go. But I do like to hear and see how it's going to fit together. Seems like the hinges move just a little bit. So I'm going to move it just a tad bit. Reset. Uh, it should be in the same place. There we go. Yeah, because hinges are not going to move. They are literally the hinge, hinge point. <laughs> okay, cool. And now we're going to add some 3D effects here. Mm. Yeah, there could be some here. All right, so because the bars are going to be round, I'm not going to worry too much about the bars. What I am going to do, though, is... And we're going to see how this works and if this works. Because you know what? I like As I've said earlier in the screen... In the scream. Uh, it's not Halloween again, I, I think. <laughs> in, in the stream, that's the word I was looking for. In the stream, I'm kind of just doing this by uh, by ear, by eye, I don't know. And just kind of experimenting and stuff like that. Because I have never animated a, a screen. I have something with the word screen at the moment, pardon me. Uh, w uh, with a gate, rather. That's opening and closing and whatnot. So we just kind of see how this goes. Uh, but what I'm saying is that the bar is round, so there's not going to be that much 3D effect with it because it's round and all the si all the like the angles of it. If you turn it around, it's going to look the same from every single side. But something that is more like the top of this area is going to look different because it has angles like a box. So yep, 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 yep. And then as it gets uh, closer and closer to like uh, kind of the midway point, the so the side of it is going to get bigger and bigger. So, and like I said, this might not turn out well at all, but you know what? <laughs> I, we're just going to go with it and we're going to learn stuff and we're going to figure it out. So, there we go. And then this time, it's going to be from the other side. So, where's my line? There's my line. It's kind of a big line, so I'm going to make it smaller. 50%? Uh, 40%. Is that going to be the magic number? Yeah, it is. Uh, 45%? There we go. Okay. Good. There it is. Right there. And erase. There we go. And then it's just going to be... Hmm, maybe slightly. And it might have just... The, the um, angle might have just disappeared too. But I might do a very small line here. And I'll change it to... Eh, 40%. Just how big it's going to be. There we go. Just like that. Okay, cool. Cuckoo. There we go. Race really, really carefully. Okay, there. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna see how this looks and if it... That's not bad. I don't like how it kind of abruptly fades out, but that could probably just be fixed with more, um frames because these are actually just the keyframes this isn't um, all the frames or anything like that so I still have a uh, in-betweens to go for the gate all right so now what I'm gonna do is going to put frames why is that at four that should be more like at Oh, I see what happened. Okay. There we go. There. Okay. Alright. Cool. So, what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to do the in-betweens. So, once again, here is the starting point. Here's the ending point. And then, how am I going to get there? Is the question of the day. So, going to do this. 
and the gate's going to be moving probably at about an even pace, I would say, here. So I'm going to do it immediately kind of in between. So just like that. And then I'll add the 3D stuff afterwards, just like I did with the keyframes. So I'm just going to worry about getting um, just the baseline or like the basic form of it to look correct. So there we go. And then it's going to move between here and here. So like that's not right. So there, there's a button. Um, there's a keyboard shortcut that like flips stuff around like upside down or so like like that. Um, which is very helpful when you're looking at stuff and, uh, trying to figure out, like, how to make things better, but sometimes I accidentally push it and I'm like, that's not the right button, so. The gate almost looks like french fries. <laughs> it does a little bit. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, that just gave me an idea. Um, like, happy, the, happy McDee's? I don't know. Happy B. Because Happy B is kind of like the main uh, chain, I guess, that's in the Amongst Other Things uh, world. But that's not right. <laughs> um, so Happy B. I'm trying to think of something for like McDonald's. I don't know. Happy B Burgers. Yeah, because of alliteration, you know, for B, B, you know, Happy B Burgers. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so that's just going to be a thing, I guess. So, yep. Alrighty then. So, here we go. And then we're going to add one here. So, this is going to be there. This is going to be there. There. Cool. Alright. And we're going to use our amazing perspective cheat. Or just like that, which affects the 3D effect, so I might erase that and redo it. Um, the little, uh, thing right there, so. There we go. Okay, and then one between here. Like I said, I've never animated a game, but this is actually going pretty well. Pretty well. So, alrighty then. That's gonna be right there and hopefully it turns out smooth then this one is kind of the pivotal it's oh it's the turning point you could say hey, puns you know I've been making a lot of puns recently my family's kind of ready to uh, punch me happy McBee <laughs> that okay that's the winner okay and it's officially that happy McBee's I'm gonna steal that now if that's okay <laughs> Happy McBee's. I approve so much of that. You should have a uh, subliminal frame right there. Where well, that's right over the game. <laughs> Actually, I will do that. I will do that. So to times I just do. <laughs> oh, nice, cool. Yeah, I know. Um, especially though when I like haven't clipped my nails for a while, it's kind of hard to like play the piano or stuff like that. Um, I know string people players have a lot of trouble with that too. Cool. We were typing being a pain, yeah. <laughs> I actually, I painted my nails once in elementary school, but I don't know, for whatever reason, it, like, maybe I just didn't get good nail polish, but, like, it always fell off, and so I just never got the point for that, for me. Like, it just, it always faded off or fell off, and... However, actually, um, for my flute recital... Ooh, black, nice! Cool. Um, for my flute recital, uh, I got them painted red because I was wearing like a red dress and stuff like that. And it was, it was really cool. It was a really pretty dress. Um, but I painted them red and I still have some red paint on my toenails. Like I just, I have not bothered to just like, uh, scrub them off or whatever because it just stayed. And that was in May of this year. So it's been on for a while. <laughs> So, well, if this, um, this is going to be kind of a, a moment of truth after I do this frame, is if it looks, um, good. So, we, sh we shall see. We shall see. Hey! It actually looks pretty good! 
Okay, let me t turn that all to black and then I'll touch it up a bit more. I like the speed. Okay, okay, I have a new OTP in this series. Uh, for those of you guys who don't know, OTP means one true prairie, and it is me x the skate. Because you know what? I love this gate right here. Yeah, th this is my OTP currently. I ship me with that gate. <laughs> I'm so happy with how that turned out. I can't even say. I might cry. <laughs> I have been thinking about animating this gate for so long. And to see it actually turn out well is such a great feeling right now. That actually kind of made my day. Yeah. In fact, yeah, that did make my day. <laughs> Alright. All I have to- I mean, it was through cheating- Lots and lots of cheating, but you know what? <laughs> we take those, I guess. <laughs> so let's see. So, gonna do a little bit of perspective y thingies. So, there we go. <laughs> yeah, <the> scan. <laughs> uh, me, X the gate. <laughs> I should put that. Oh my gosh, just like the. um. The, the uh, happy McBee's uh, Easter egg I'm gonna put on it. I'm also gonna put somewhere like me, like my name or something, X this gate or something, or I heart this gate. <laughs> because, yeah, <laughs> I really like this gate. Yep, you know, just uh, too bad, like all the other pairings that may or may not be in this show. Nope, nope, it's just me and the gate. Forever. Five ever. <laughs> Alright. I, I, I swear I'm done now. I'll stop being so cringy with the game. <laughs> okay, now let's see. That was the one. Yeah, I need to make this one a little bit different. Right here. So, yep. Well, that's now a thing, I guess. Well, I know now what I'm going to uh, title this uh, escapade on YouTube when I post it to YouTube. <laughs> yep. Yep. Happy make bees and um, my, the, uh, the OTP. That actually kind of rhymes. Yeah. Happy big, happy make bees and the true OTP. Except that would be true one true pairing. So I guess just OTP. I don't know. I should probably get a little bit more sleep. <laughs> Doop doop doop. All right. Where's the next time? Oops. Okay, it's about there. So probably about there. About there. About. Actually, I'm gonna move that one just a tad bit. Doop. Yeah. No, it can be more than that. So there. Oh yeah. No, definitely. Okay. Cool. A little more like that. Alrighty, now I'm gonna erase. They're just gonna end up being so many projection jokes in the show that no one will understand. All. Yeah, well, I don't know. Maybe we can just, we, we can maybe uh, do a, like a scavenger hunt or something for like, find all the weird stuff that you can find in this animation, which is going to be a lot. And if, uh, well, I don't know, we'll tell you what it means, I guess. Then you'll get a cookie or a drawing. I don't know. <laughs> We could do like a super secret, amazing behind the scenes, whatever, and just like explain them and stuff. Cause I think they're hilarious. So I think they're really amazing. So there we go. There we go. That's good. That's good, that's good, that's fine. I might move that just a tad bit. Yeah, that one needs to be moved. So erase there. Well, let's see, what do, what do we have so far in it? Um, well, we have the paper face squishing. Um, I'm trying to remember some other ones. I, I know that there were some others, but I, I can't remember at the moment, but I don't know. There were, there were some others, so maybe we should just, like, compile a list or, or whatever in, of them. Let's see. Make this a bit smaller. 45. About 
there. There we go. Yes, that's perfect. Maybe not perfect, but it's pretty dang good. There we go. And then race right here. Doop 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 doop. Ah, uh, that's not what I wanted. There we go. Okay, cool. And let's see how this looks with the special 3D effects. Yeah, it's pretty good. The one thing I don't like too much is that because this is supposed to be an ease right here, I might try just actually erasing this. Don't worry, the OTP is not is not in danger. <laughs> We're just having some issues right now. I'm gonna make this eraser actually a little bit smaller. It's a little bit easier to handle. There we go. Hmm. There we go. That's what I wanted. Cool. All right. And now we're going to do even more cheating because heck no, am I drawing that again for the other side? What I'm going to do, well, first I'm going to title this gate because it's a gate. And then what I'm going to do is probably easiest thing is going to be to make another layer. I'm going to copy paste. Wow, we've, we've gone to the height of laziness. Uh, copy paste into here. So we have it twice now. And then we are going to flip it to the other side by just doing image, modify, flip horizontally. And then what I'll just have to do is I'll just have to move it. So... Then I'm going to do this, transform, and interlock it there. So there's a little bit of space in between them, and good. Awesome. And there we go. Transform. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Uh, let's see. Do all the cast members live in the U.S.? Come in the gate. Already broke up. <laughs> yeah. No, not quite. Well, like I said, we were just having some issues. We're fine. Uh, but do all the cast... Um, not all of them. I think a few live in the U.K. And I think, uh, one or two maybe? One, one definitely lives in Australia. So, yeah. No, we, we have a, we have a few that are kind of more around the world and stuff, but I think most of them live in, um, U.S., so, or Canada or something. Doop -a -doop -a -doop. Which I think is really cool because, you know, kind of like a power of the internet, like, there would be no way that I could do a lot of this project without the internet, honestly, so. There we go. All right. Ayo! The bad game that, you know what? We're back together. Me, me and the gate. We're, we're, we're tight. We're tight again. I just need to uh, center it. So, what I think I'll do is actually I'll merge these two layers. So, uh, it's just on the, on the same layer. So, merge. There we go. So, now I have both gates or both gate sides just on the same layer, which makes it a bit easier to deal with. And I'm going to move it. A bit because I want it to be pretty much center on the screen. Let's see, is that about? Uh, I think it needs to be a tad bit to the left, like there. There we go. Cool, cool. Yep, all right, that's good. Cool, cool, and there we go. Okay. There we go. Cool. I'm not sure why it's looping like that. That's kind of weird. Um, and that will be the trillionth time that I've listened to that dialogue now. <laughs> Let's see. 
Internet is uh pretty awesome if used for exactly. It's crazy those things. Yeah, I know, right? That was so weird. And I was just like, oh my god, Colorado. <laughs> Thought it'd be great that if this show gets fun, we could all meet up and person do a few live sketches and character. I yeah, that would be so cool, like a convention or something. I mean, I know that there's like a NDK that goes on in Denver and stuff like that. I, I mean, that's only I know that just because I'm I live near it and uh, I have friends who go to that a lot. That's awesome. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes! <laughs> but yeah, no, I think that that would be really, really cool, honestly. Like, I mean, if people were interested and stuff like that, but I don't know. We're, we're just getting started right now, so... Ah, I don't know. I'm not thinking too much about the future. I mean, I'm still on scene five, so... I mean, that, that's kind of what I'm thinking about right now. But... Yeah, no, I think that would be really cool in the future. Like I said, people were interested, so... I know, I, I've, I'm totally down for that, so. Alright, okay, now the most important part we're gonna put in the Easter eggs. So, I'm thinking one is going to go on the left gate, and now and then the other one is gonna go on the other one. So, should it be on the back, though, or the front? Hmm. Or both. It could just be on both sides. I'm thinking the back side, because, like, that's going to be the side that's going to appear for a lot longer. And that way people might have a better chance, but, hmm, let's see. So I want to put, it has to be on the top, though, because these are just bars, so. Happy Mick Burgers. <laughs> so maybe, like, there, and then I'll put a little B or something. <laughs> I'll probably have to draw it a few more times, but I don't care because this is this is definitely worth drawing again. So, oh man, look at that resolution change. Good thing it's zoomed out because that resolution change is terrible. So, okay, it's not going to change that much. So I'll just put it to the side. You know, I cheat a lot, but I will not cheat for this Easter egg. I'm gonna do this all hand-drawn, dang it! So there we go. Actually... Hmm... Nope, I'm gonna cheat. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I just had an idea. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is actually I'm gonna put this on a separate layer and then I'm gonna use the perspective thingy again, cause... Yeah, yeah. Yep, I don't know. I guess it's just one of those days. <laughs> Cheat when you can! Happy bee. Happy, or happy McBees. Happy McBee. Right there. And there's the bee. I'm still so excited to get to the episode of Happy Bee Market. Even though it's like episode 3. But you know what? I am so excited for that. So, here we go. And then we're gonna copy paste it again. We're going to just adjust it just a little bit with perspective. That's not perspective. That's perspective. Oh, it really doesn't change that much, huh? Okay. Just move it a little bit like that. There we go. Hmm like right it's going to be moving up not that far up and then like that it's going to be moving further up because it's the perspective like that i'm going to move just a bit more move a bit more and even more then it's going to disappear because it's gone. Rip. There we go. <laughs> Let's see how that looks. Eh, it's a little bit janky. It's not bad. Oh, B. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you could bring my your popcorn. Oh my god, yeah. Yeah, you, for the most re- one of the most recent scenes that we, um, voiced for, Clark had, uh, because Mom and Fox King is the voice of Clark. Um, Clark was eating popcorn and stuff like that. And so he was, um, 
Uh, he ate popcorn during his taste, which is really amazing. <laughs> Uh, just put it on for one frame. Oh, that's a good point. Hmm. To make it a super duper Easter egg. Hmm. I kind of like it, though, part of the world at the same time, though. Hmm. So that it doesn't just randomly disappear. I'll think about it. Because I do like the thought, but it really doesn't appear for that long. Like, it only appears for, um, not even a second, really. So, I will still have to be pretty skilled to find it. Yeah, because there it disappears. I'll, I'll think about it, though, because I do kind of want it to do it for, um, more than one frame. So. Uh, I'm actually going to move that a little bit down. Once again, I mainly eyeball things for perspective, which I probably, I don't know, shouldn't do. But you know what? I think it looks right. <laughs> there we go. And move that down. Cool. And then it disappears. All right. And then... And that needs to be moved down. So much effort for an Easter egg, but that's okay. <laughs> It's worth it. Happy Bee and Gate, you, you're worth it. Hmm, I kind of see what, what you mean, how it'd be kind of fun if it was just one frame. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe two frames, because I'm actually going at 24 frames per second. So every frame is happening basically every two frames. So maybe I'll try two frames. So let's see if I just maybe put it, oh, I want to put it on a frame that's still legible on. So maybe that one, and then I'll delete the other ones. There we go. And if not, I can just edit undo. <laughs> and there we go. Okay, let's see how this looks. Oops. Uh, none. There we go. Okay. <laughs> That's kind of trolly. I might make it a tiny bit smaller. Because I think it's almost too big. Let's see. But yeah, a lot of people are going to be like, what the actual heck? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to make it smaller. I've actually done an Easter egg like this um, in another animation, so. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll think about it, yeah. No, I'll mess with it and stuff like that. That is pretty funny, though. Because, hmm. I don't know, I personally don't like things where I have to pause really, really fast, but like I said, I'll, I'll think about it. And I'll do the other one real fast, and then we're probably going to call it a day. Um, and this one I think I'll have at the very end. So after the gate has turned around. So right here. And it is going to be KXG. Because my first name starts with a K, and the G is, well, a gate. <laughs> KXG, there we go. People are gonna be like, what? There's, like, no characters that, you know, uh, like, start with, um, K or G. Actually, I don't think there are. Um, no, there aren't. I, I don't think so. They're gonna be like, what are those characters? Are they, are they new special characters? It's like, nope. Nope. The background for this is a lot stupider. <laughs> and if you thought that there was like some hidden lore or whatever, nope. Nope. No, no deepest lore here. Oh, only memes. <laughs> only memes. Okay, let's see. Goes right there. Like I said, I'll, I'll see if I want to just do it for one frame or if I wanted to, like, hold there, so. 
Uh, there we go. And last one. That moves around way too much. There we go. That'll make it a tad bit bigger. And there. Actually, probably what I should do is just copy paste it from the previous one and then adjust it slightly. There we go. So let's see how that looks. Hmm, hold. Let's see, that one needs to be moved up just a little bit. That one needs to be moved there. There, no, too far, too far, there we go. Don't want that. Man, I'm putting so much effort into <laughs> That's just like me though, like, I really cannot just uh, do a, like, just kind of like, slap something together and call it good. I, I just, I, I can't. There we go, I like that. And like I said, I think I might do the happy bee for more frames, but we'll, we'll see. Well, cool. So I'm super happy with this, honestly, like uh, with the gate and stuff like that. Uh, no ending drawing. You don't even remember your characters. So, but uh, yes, I do. I know all of them perfectly well. I can probably do a quick ending drawing. Um then because like i said i have not eaten like anything today <laughs> but i will i will do a quick drawing so but first i'm gonna save and in fact i believe i have one right uh what drawer is it in hmm. i think i might actually remember it i believe when you requested it was like alligators at a fancy party like and then some b-boy aliens i think like pop in and uh it's like rage against the machine that's about all i remember for that <laughs> oh here's my warm-up speechy dubs so i guess i can just do it on this uh file so yay warm-ups there we go boop okay yeah i think it was that it was something around those lines um but let's so man how do you draw alligators um correct me if i'm wrong by the way because i i think i remember and i know i had it written down i just cannot find it at the moment so or if you want a different request too that's fine too uh, along with you pumpkin fox king if either of you guys have a quick request um then i can do that these alligators have such big eyes. <laughs> look at them eyes. Man, I have no idea what alligators look like. This should probably make this incredibly apparent. <laughs> How much? I do not know what alligators look like. Okay, so you're at a fancy... Man, this is terrible. This is, <laughs> this is terrible. They have like little bridges, I think like that and then i want them to be holding like like a cup and stuff like that but they have to have the pinky out because like well you have to have to have the pinky out if you're at a fancy party and stuff like that and so there's the wine glass they're like hey, oh my oh oh it should have like a little top hat like like that like that yeah yeah boy and now we're going to have a little mustache. I'm, I'm beginning to sense a trend in these uh, Indian stream doodles. Where it's like top hats, uh, fancy stuff, and mustaches. <laughs> this, this seems to be a trend. Here, let me fix that pinky. Pinky, pinky, pinky. Pinkies are stupid, BT doves. I don't like drawing pinkies. And so there's the hand like that wow i don't know why i was flipping between the frames i'm so used to going back and forth between the frames that's just where my fingers went to automatically 
A giant snail crawling up the estate, holding a Star Wars Imperial flag with all the cast members freaking out. <laughs> okay, that sounds amazing. Okay, just let me finish up this one real fast. Um, so he's just like, oh my, oh my. He has like a handlebar mustache or something, I don't know. Different mustaches, I guess. Like the little curly and stuff like that. That's that guy on the bus that had a really, really, uh, Okay, this is gonna sound super weird, but he had a nice mustache. Like, he really, really did. Like, uh, man, nice mustache. It was, like, very well-groomed. <laughs> like, okay, like I said, it was gonna sound weird, no matter how I said it. But, okay. <laughs> it's not an alligator. <laughs> I told you I don't know how to draw alligators. This isn't working at all. <laughs> Okay, okay, I got this. I got this. So, there we go. <laughs> I'm basically just uh, making them look like, oh my god. <laughs> hey guys, I do art. Kind of. <laughs> I don't do alligators though. I, I really don't do alligators. There, okay, that I think that's the problem. So there we go. And then little ridges, and then that. I'm basically just channeling um Yoshi. I know he's not a di he's not <laughs> he's not an alligator, but that's what I think of with these eyes. And he has bow tie and stuff. I feel like these uh Indian sketches are getting weirder and weirder as time goes on. And I don't know, a fedora? Would you wear a fedora at a party? Yeah, we're, we're just gonna go with it. A pair of armadillos playing chess in space with a sneezy warm up on it. You need to play it in the background. How do you come up with these, man? <laughs> oh my god. Like, I'm never going to run out of Indian Doodle sketches with you. Like, ever. Wow, that bow tie is, like, nowhere near where it's supposed to be. You know, if someone just popped into the stream right now, they would probably just, like, go right out, like, okay, this this got weird. <laughs> so, there's, there's some alligators, kind of. And then, like, here's the wall and stuff, and it's, like, broken down and stuff like that. And then, okay, what did you mean by b-boy aliens, though? I've been wondering about that for, like, a really long time. So... I, I, I lie awake at night being like, what are people aliens? <laughs> so there's the UFO. Maybe they're like that and stuff like that. There's some clouds because why not? There's some bushes because why not? <laughs> Basically everything I do in life. Why not? <laughs> so there's that. Um... No, seriously, what are b-boy aliens? <laughs> I'm gonna go on to the, the other one really fast. Um, the one with the cast, because I think that's hilarious. And then once you reply, you could use these jewels paintings hung around this tree or something. <laughs> I could! Yes! Yes! Done! Done! Even, even more Easter eggs. Okay, let's see. The other one was... Giant snow crawling up the estate holding a Star Wars Imperial. What does an Imperial flag look like? Um... <laughs> Hmm, I think I'll just do... What does a snail look like? I'm gonna have it, like, looking down at them, like, I see you. And it's like, there's the flag, which I don't know what it looks like yet, but you know what? I'm gonna look it up. I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller. Like that. There's a snail. There's the, like... I don't know, the fence or the <laughs> wall of the estate. And then here's the cast, and they're just like, oh my god! Like, Chris is like, what the heck is going on anymore, you guys? <laughs> He's just like, I'm so confused right now. <laughs> so there's Chris. Right there. 
Um, Will is probably laughing his tail off because, Lynn, you came up with this. <laughs> so. Uh, so there's Will. He's just like, oh my god, this is the best thing ever. <laughs> Uh, like that. So he's just kind of like holding his sides like, oh my god. Like that. And his hoodie. This is the best art ever, you guys. Like, I think I've reached my peak. This is, this is the peak. I will never get this far again. Nope. Gosh, you said anything about improving, like... I got this right here. So there you are. Oh, there's his man boots. I realized the other day that uh, Will has man boots, and I think it's beautiful. I'm gonna move Chris just a little bit. <laughs> Chris, get down. And get smaller, because you're short. Wow, this is, like, terrible perspective. You know, for, for a day about perspective, like, this is pretty terrible. <laughs> What? Do snails have teeth? <laughs> That's the question of today. <laughs> Here, uh, look up early, early images of the Beastie Boys. I saw made a random DMC. That's a better example. Which one is the total? Yeah, right. <laughs> Actually, all I'm gonna do is just uh. Change the perspective on the knees just to attach it. So there we go. Nope, that's not what I wanted. That looks kind of weird. There we go. And I think just for time's sake, I'll just do Chris and um Will right now. Okay, and the Imperial flag looks like... And hopefully it won't cover up the stream. What does the Imperial flag look like? Mm. Do they have teeth? They do now. <laughs> right? <laughs> so. Well, I'll probably add the Imperial flag later. Um, but right now, I'll just color it real fast. And then that one's great. Yeah, I'll color these really, really fast. And then I'll def and I'm gotta call it a day because like I said, I'm hungry. So the gators are gonna be green. Cause you know, gators stuff. I don't know. It's been a it's been an interesting day. <laughs> so there we go. There's the arm. There's the pinky. Pinky's important. For reasons, I guess. Maybe that little yellow and stuff like that uh red wine because why not why not eh? <laughs> oh man i should i should stop i really should but you know i'm just not going to <laughs> i love now how he's wearing the hat on his head <laughs> pretty much <laughs> pretty much like i said i i don't know how to draw the the alligators whatever they're called so there we go and this is just kind of the shading that I do like uh, for quicksies I guess quicksies I swear that I uh, shade on color a lot better than this <laughs> man my Twitter is just gonna be full of like the weirdest stuff ever should have like a blue band or something and this guy should have like a pink band because you know what pink fedora there you go you look styling man okay race actually behind there we go draw the green grass that's that's not the right green that is not the right green there we go okay that's better ish no I'm gonna make it lighter there we go much better Yep, this is a thing. This is a thing. Okay, there's the bushes. Like, that can't be covered. Yeah, probably not. You know, probably not. But, uh, he's, 
He'll be okay. He shall be okay. There we go. That's the one I wanted. Okay. There we go. He'll live. Little. That's not a flower. <laughs> there we go. Little. Wow, why is my brush so big? There we go. Little flowers. That uh, more looks like, like polka dots. That's not right. There we go. That's more what I wanted. Except not. That's a terrible color scheme. Okay, they're not gonna have flowers. <laughs> because of reasons. There we go. And... There we go. There's the... There's the wall. Right there. Of the estate. The alligator estate. The alligestate? I, I don't know. I, I'm trying too hard for this pun. And then... The sky. Because that exists. I need it to be lighter. There we go. Doop a doop a doop. Doop a doop a doop. You know what? This is the best art ever. Absolute best art ever. And like I said, I can uh, add the aliens, but I, I don't know. I kind of like it like this, for, at least for now. See you. There we go. And then, I don't know, like a green light or something. Yeah, like that. So there we go. So that, <laughs> that is now done. Alice State, all state, yes. There should be like a commercial where it's just like, get Alice State, all state, whatever. Okay, so the snail's gonna be purple because you can only have a purple snail, obviously. The snail has got to be purple. Quite obviously. Uh, I need this one, yes. There we go. Just a lighter purple for the body. And there's a hand. There's the imperial flag, which I don't... Okay, tell me at least what color it is. <laughs> and there's the wall again. There we go. And then the grass again. Ooh, I need to do his antennas. They're gonna be, like, super purple. Yeah! There we go. And then I'm gonna do green for the grass. There we go. Green, 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 green. Like green greens from uh, Kirby and stuff like that. So there we go. And then I'll color them in just a second. You know, people who don't come to the streams and, like, just see what gets posted up on Twitter, I feel like are probably the most confused people on the planet. Like, what the heck is going on? Uh, but it's beautiful. It's it's very beautiful stuff. Okay, and... Actually, I think I do have... The colors of the cast. Um, I should, anyways. If I'm smart, I should have it. So let's see. If not, I will just eyeball the colors. Hmm. Current. No, I don't. Huh. Well, I should. I will do that later. Okay. Well, for now, I will just kind of eyeball the colors because I do remember them pretty well. So his hoodie is brown. He's pretty pale-ish lighter skin there we go and his pants are kind of tan i believe and then his hair is blonde that looks the same as his skin there we go blonde it's a pretty light blonde but still blonde see you and then ponytail line is just like black and then his boots are also brown, but they're kind of more like that. There we go. And then his mouth. Doop -a -doop -a -doop. There we go. Oh yeah, no boy. Yes. 
But yeah, no, thank you so much for coming. I'll be going off too, so I mean, you're not going to be missing much. I'm just going to finish this and we're cut it, so yeah, no problem. So yeah, enjoy dinner. Thanks so much. Yeah. Alrighty. So, <laughs> hi, Pumpkin Fox King. How, how you doing? <laughs> so, I'm just going to finish this in a minute. We'll cut it, but if you, if you gotta go, that's fine too. Because I'm just going to be finishing this and then I'm going to be heading out and getting food as well so there we go there's a mouth uh his green shirt and then his pants they're kind of yellowy there we go okay and then i'm just gonna what and will is just like uh i'll use like reddish for will And I'll just make it red, because why not? There we go. Alright! Well, thank you so much for everyone that came to the stream. And it's, it was a lot of fun. I wasn't sure, honestly, how we would go, because I was a bit tired today and stuff like that. But thank you so much for coming. And I, ooh, 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 I'll just put it on the flag. Thank you. And I'll make it smaller. Thank you. A little smiley face. There we go. So yeah, thank you all for coming to the stream. And I hope you guys have a great week. And I will see you guys next week. And hopefully I will have a bit more done. Because I wish I had more done this week. But yeah. So hope you guys all do well. And thanks so much for coming. And see ya.